Ladies, are y'all really that hungry? That's annoying. And a West Tennessee good morning to you. Bobby Lee here from Hurricane Creek Farms. Really nice morning. Um, we're like in the 60s. I, I, I've been paying attention to our rain chances, but not so much the temperatures. Man, it is going mean, to be really nice today. High's only like 84. So um, we're ready to get after it. Um, got some hay to bale a little later on. Yeah, you probably can't really tell, but we've got like a 10 mile an hour breeze blowing. So uh, pretty light dew so we may be able to get started a little earlier than usual on the cows and discover that I have feed in the back of the side by side so I'll probably better cut this short and start driving back to the barn but yeah some hay to get bailed um we still got to get the I don't have the rake or the baler hooked up so it'll take us a few minutes to do those things it's almost eight o'clock now actually so we're still gonna need a couple hours for the little bit of a dew we got to dry off, especially because it's kind of overcast. But we appreciate y'all watching. Ask you to give the video a thumbs up. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. Leave us a comment. We love the comments. Um, but yeah, this crew is, is getting impatient and hungry. And then they've got grass, you know, it's belly deep out here. So we're gonna ride back up there to the barn, put just a little feed out because another task, and I'm probably not gonna take it on today, Need to get that dude and his buddy, wherever he is, out of here because they shouldn't have been with these cows for the last couple of weeks, but they have been. But hey, we, we do what we can. You hungry, buddy? You really that hungry? All right, y'all. We're rolling. As the cows are coming up here to get a little bite to eat, um, I must say two things. Uh, one, because we get this comment a lot, especially, of course, more with the heifers, because we give them up the rogues, we give them a little feed every day. Like, why are you feeding them? They're out on grass. We're like, we're feeding them a minuscule amount. You know, when you, especially with that group, crew, we're, you know, we have 67 head, and they, we put out, you know, they, they might be getting a pound to a pound and a half per head per day. Anyway, it's just to keep them coming up. This crew I've only been giving feed to for the last couple of days, because in preparation for, um, Need to get the bulls caught here in another day or two. Um, we could probably do it today, but before I can turn them out separate for the cows, I gotta patch on a cross fence a little bit. And uh, I just don't have a lot of time to do that this morning. But my question, of course, we put up these new panels to, to kind of improve our um, feed out area where we'll feed out, you know, steers this winter. You can see, obviously, that panel, especially when it's down off that concrete, pretty short. I'm going to put something and I'm thinking just running a cable, you know, just so you get a squirrely one in there because we do also use that pin, of course, for crowds and whatnot whenever we're working animals to uh, not want to jump that. But what's you guys' opinion? Um, I run a cable, you know, from one post, like drill a hole through the middle one, run it through there and tie it to the other one. Um, there's, there's something else I'm not thinking of. I'm not always the most creative when it comes to these projects. Uh, in my mind, I think that would look nice um, and should still also be effective. Um, maybe it would even need two, you know. Um, may go ahead and run one and then, depending on how that looks, put another one up. But yeah, give me your opinion, leave a comment below. Um, of course, when we're feeding them out, we have it shut off where like, these two ladies can't do this. But I've rambled enough about that. Um, see what it is starting to warm up though. I am glad for that sun to come out. Um, good time to point out to you the hay baler shirt from Ag Gear. Um, one of my favorite. The hay baler and the stockyard, which I think really the only difference is hay baler has the regular buttons, the stockyard has the pearl snaps. Um, you got the vented um, underarms and back. Um, all the cool pockets for all your gadgets. Um, check them out. Discount code 15% off when you use that code hurricane at checkout. All right, let's go. All right, so we left the the M4 with the disc mower on it, actually at my parents' house when we got done mowing. 
the other night because I had the truck and the tractor there. So I do need to go get it, bring it home, get the mower off, get the rake on it. But until I have a ride to help me go and do that, grab my gloves, we're going to get, go ahead and get the baler hooked back up to this tractor. Of course, we had unhooked it. We had done a little pasture clipping. In the meantime, I backed it up. Actually, I might be able to drop that pin in there. I didn't have to start the tractor. I need to check. Uh, should be plenty of net wrap. Oh, yeah. Um, well, speaking of that, prediction on how much hay we're going to have today. Which, well, sometimes I give that prediction after I've raked it and kind of look at it. But I'm not going to get to do a lot of the raking today. I got uh, my man Baylor is going to be helping me. Got about 30 acres on the ground, so if I was having to rake it and then bale it, it was going to be a long day. Um, <clears throat> 54 rolls last time, this exact two, you know, properties. It's going to be more today. Um, that fertilizer really showed up. <sighs> 75. That may be a little bold, but um, we like to be bold around here. We're going to go ahead and say 75, um, at least 70. Uh, look, I, I feel confident saying that. But all right, we'll uh, get to greasing and uh, then get this thing hooked up. boss lady just called and said she is ready to give me a ride and like i said the m4 is up the road at my parents house um conveniently that's where my kids are going today so i told her it's like hey when you take the kids how about we um i hitch a ride with you but let me go ahead and put the monitor in here because i'm gonna take the truck the, the farm <laughs> Where I'm bailing today is my parents' house and then a farm just up the road from it, you know, basically next door, not not absolutely. Come on, Sadie. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and drive this truck to the first farm we're gonna be at. We kinda learned our lesson the other day that it's really, really, really nice to have the service truck there. Um, both tractors should be pretty good on fuel, but we filled the fuel tank back up yesterday. We're good on that. We um, have all our tools and whatnot. I'm not going to throw any net wrap on there because I'm, yeah, I think we'd have to roll like 125 or 30 rolls or more before we should run out of net wrap. But anyway, it's all right. Boss says she's ready to give me a ride, so we're going to catch a ride. All right, so made it home. We're going to get the mower unhooked. A little cramped in here with the dog. While well, she doesn't get to ride more often. <laughs> but I have her with me. I was like, well, she, she can simply go on the ride home with us. But get the mower off here and get that rake hooked up pretty quick. I just need to go get my, my helper, check those heifers up the road, and be ready to go.
All right, the crew here looks like they're gonna be ready to come over here and grab a bite to eat. My two usual hounds made the ride with me. Yeah, we'll get them up here. Um, and I, I give the obligatory, it seems like every time, quote of, I'm down here later than usual. <laughs> Which I always think is funny because, well, if I'm always down here later than usual, then is that usual? But y'all know what I mean. Um, and it's nearly 9.30 now, but kind of waited because my, my rake man that I got to pick up lives just right across the road from where these heifers are. So I figured I'll just come down here and feed them. A little later in the morning, it was time to pick him up. But we'll get them up here, get them fed, and uh, try to get a head count, like always. So that is everyone accounted for. So good morning on herd checks. Uh, what is dusty. Feels nice just in terms of temperature. I don't know, sun may not shine at all today, so but the fact that we had a good breeze to help dry that dew off may be offset by the fact that, well, yeah, that's all well and good, but you don't have any sun. But check that hay when we drop the truck off. Um pretty dry. Some of the thicker spots, especially like with some of that crabgrass that doesn't dry quite as good. You turn it over, it's a little green underneath, so. I don't know. With, with having a, somebody to rake for me today, I was gonna, you know, kind of follow along pretty closely behind the rake with the baler. Um, I don't know. Maybe an advantage to uh, letting the rake get on out in front of me, you know, a little way, so turn out hay over and let it dry a little more. But we'll see. Yeah, if someone come on out, would help. We are rolling right along. Um, I've actually been going for. Uh, getting close to two hours now. Sun can't decide if it wants to come out and stay out or not, but uh, that's pretty good and dry. We had a nice breeze all morning. And two, it's been laying here for a solid 72 hours since we cut it. But it's good hay too. We're already at 35 rolls and we're not even done with the first field. We've got five total fields on two properties. First one is the biggest one. Um, and I don't think we're gonna have any trouble hitting our 75. Um, I'd be real disappointed at this point if we don't beat that pretty easily. But Buddy Baylor draking for me. Which I had to tell him this first field is just can't even describe what shape it is. There's no good way to rake it. Like I I've raked it, I don't know, I guess a half dozen times. Couple of years I've been cutting hay off this form and I still don't know the best way to rake it. So he's raked for me one other time, but only a second time on the rake. And I tell him, say, yeah, you're getting getting kind of baptized on one of the hardest places to go. But it gets easier from here. So we're gonna keep on going and uh, yeah, we'll see how many we end up with. We've gotten up that first farm and uh, hay's really good. We're at 65 rolls total from there which first cutting we only got 40 um, so it's mad I got an oversized roll that's annoying there's your lesson there is don't make an oversized roll we are gonna blow past our prediction of 75 I couldn't love that any more than I do. I don't know. I can't remember how many we had on this farm first. I think it was like 15. Um, I don't know. We're going to be at 90. We'll fight my new prediction. But we shall see. Baylor is raking it up for me, doing a great job. Uh, now we finally get into some fields that are a little more square, a little easier to rake. So these would be a piece of cake for both of us. We're gonna keep on rolling. It's about, that's just a little after four. Should be done by six. That's my goal anyway. And uh, see, I've got a little dirty. Sheared a bolt one time, wasn't a big deal. I had to dig just a little hay out where one had got, a little hay had gotten wrapped up in there at all. Anyway, I'll be ready for a dip in the pool. Dad, doing a little clipping around the edges where we didn't cut the hay. I think he's getting ready. They're gonna go out of town. He's just wanting to 
clean things up a little bit. We're gonna make, gotta go through one more gate here. Now dad's on his other tractor, does the touch up work with the little tractor. He got the 15 foot push hog, he keeps on the cab tractor, and trying to get everything squared away. I think it's only going to be gone for a day or two, but alright, we got just a few more rolls to roll, I'm going to save y'all the suspense of how many. Alright, this is the last windrow, 58 inches is a full bale. It's gonna be close. Actually, we're gonna be just over a full bale. So what I'm gonna do is increase that to 60 for this last one. Just to see if we can squeeze it all in there. Cause I do not wanna have like a tiny little partial roll, but it looks like we will. Grief, that's annoying. One hundred and five. More than I expected by a lot, obviously. Um, nearly double what this same ground yielded first cutting. I think it was fifty-four. So if we wanted to be uh, generous, we'd say yeah, it's double. Yeah, I can't leave that little bit there, so go ahead and scrap that last little bit up. But yeah, it's amazing what a little nitrogen fertilizer will do for grass, right? Oh man, it's been a day. I've sheared some bolts. I gotta do a little bit of investigating on this baler, see if, what the issue is there. See, I got grease or dirt or something on my face. Um, figure out why that is. Looks like I got a tiny little hydraulic leak on the back of the tractor. Um, I noticed that last time I was replacing the shear bolt. So, I don't know if we can cut hay again this weekend or not. They're showing a little rain for next week. So, it may just be best that we're down for just a few days. We can do a little maintenance um, work on the baler and the tractor. Um, two, it's going to take me a little while to move 105 bales home. I don't know. What's, what's 105 divided by 7? I can't do that math. Not, not this time of day, off the top of my head. But, oh, I think we're going to leave the rake tractor here because I'll use it to move the hay. Yeah, there's 40 rolls. Yeah, I guess exactly 40 on this farm, 65 on the other farm. So that's a little easier math. So, uh, seven times, yeah, we'll make five loads plus a little extra off of this farm. And then, uh, Actually works out good on the other farm, make it even nine loads, then take two in with the tractor. But I'm gonna roll my pickup up, pick up the gathering wheels, and we're gonna head to the house. Looks like the family's going for a little horseback riding here in the evening, which is a nice day. I think we only got up to 80. That was our high today. Um, so, so just a really awesome day. I don't know what the temperature is now. I'm sure we're down to the 70s because it is about 715. It has been a long day. We're going to go ahead and grab this little bitty bit of a roll that we got left in there. I think it's loud and annoying. I've heard that thing beat more times today. Well, this will be 106 times for needing a bail roll or dump. It's going to be a tiny There, it rolled out of there. Be sure I don't run over a dog in the process. Might have a hard time finding a good bet this time of night. 
and the daily ritual of gathering up all my stuff. Radio doesn't work in here, so I got my earbuds so I can, well, hung my ag gear shirt, a vent, on the door lock there. Sunglasses, earbuds, telephone, GoPro cameras, all that good stuff. Um, you can see the hat. I hadn't even mentioned agzaga.com today. Oop, I backed up too far to open that, but we are, I was beginning to wonder if we were gonna make it. We got a little net wrap left on there. Believe, yep, we're gonna be rail, uh, bailing with the FFA blue and gold um, edition net wrap very soon. I would say the next time we're rolling, we'll um, have to replace that. But go to agzaga.com, bell net wrap or anything else. They have a wide range there. You're an online ag retailer. Discount code there is Talk Dirt, all caps, all one word. Of course, because um, they're a sponsor of the Talk Dirt to Me podcast that I co-host with Logan. Encourage y'all to check that out, anybody that hasn't. But it has been a day. I'm exhausted. Um, Got to do some investigating on that baler, figure out why it was shearing those bolts. It was just, I don't know. N none of them were terrible plug-ups or anything like that. Oh, figure out a little hydraulic leak on the back of the tractor. Um, I'm going to look at that, see if it's something I can diagnose and correct or if I need to get a technician out. But I say all that to say, it's been a heck of a day. Appreciate y'all sticking with us to the end of this video. Appreciate my buddy Baylor um, coming out and raking for me. He's really catching on. Um, he's only 12. Um, I think I was like, oh gosh, like I wasn't doing it. I wasn't raking hay at that age for sure. I was picking up square bales and stuff like that. But anyway, I rambled on way too much. I have no idea what we're eating for dinner. I hope it's beef because I'm exhausted. But y'all know what we want you to do. Y'all eat beef and God bless. We'll see y'all next time. Uh, don't knock it over. That wasn't much of a jump. Thank you. <laughs> but he's also riding with just a, a pad and no saddle. All right, Kimber, let's see your best jump. Oh, now that was a jump. Good job, buddy. <laughs> okay. All right, show us your best routine. Good job. All right, Mom, your turn. You gonna go, Mom? <laughs>